lovelies and welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is Belinda Strana thank you so much for all the love and support don't forget to please subscribe to this channel turn on notifications so that anytime I upload a video you will be the first person to be notified and to my returning subscribers thank you so much for all the love and support to those people that share my videos leave commentaries and to my channel members you guys are the real MVP thank you for all the love and support Alright lovelies, let's dive in into this video. So lovelies, I came across this video by for you page on TikTok and I have to share with you guys where this white man is claiming to be black. Like, guys, I'm just gonna roll the clip as well as some of the stitches I was able to put together because people were actually, you know, reacting to this video. I'm just gonna roll it. Please leave me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video. And do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying, harassment, and also we just have for education at the best guys. Alright lovelies, let's dive into it. And my best friend, she uh, took me to be white. She was shocked when I told her I'm not white. I am black. I am a black person. And it was, well, you're, you're not that. You think you are. No, I know I am. I was raised that way. But I was also raised, as mom would say, it doesn't matter what color your skin is. We all serve one God. Now, as you know, this is my home. Over here is my daughter's home, Jessica. Everybody else in here, we're all kin folks. That's how this community got to be mixed with white and black. It was from the black children our children going out marrying white and bringing them in. A lot of them was as light as I am, but we still said we were black. And then we had some real dark ones, but that's okay. They were black, we were black. So that's how this all got started. My grandma, she was half Turk, half black. My grandpa was a white man. My mom registered me as black. My mom was a, she wasn't as fair complected as I am. She was a light tan brown. My dad, he has German, Irish, white. Well, his mother was a white woman. His dad was a colored man. And then as I grew older and I got married and I had my children, I registered my children as black. I have found that stone that was here down the mountain. Most of them in this area goes as black. We've got maybe two, three families that considers themselves being white. But the rest of us in here, we consider ourselves being black. You know this country is precious, always have been, and it never will grow out of it. I was in the service in 66, the yeah, I circle, black, Negro. He said, you can't circle that. I said, that's what I am. Well, he kind of smiled, and he said, uh, circle this. I said, okay, which meant Caucasian. I didn't show my collar, but I know what I was. And I ain't going to tell you about my race. My mom raised me as Negroes. Oh, I had a lot of people ask me, say, why did your mom raise you as a Negro? I said, that's what I am. They said, yeah, but you don't show it. I said, it's going to come a time where white won't accept you and then Negroes will accept you. I said, I'll, I'll wait it out. That's <laughs> about all you can do. He'll shout the victorious oh, yes. and he'll break through the blue. Yes, yes. Some golden day break oh, yeah. for me and for you. Amen. Growing up, I was always taught that I was black. I started into school and um, didn't really think much about it until I got into the elementary. I'm going to say around about third or fourth grade. That's when I started noticing the difference. I started noticing I was being taught that I was black, but I didn't look black. Um, other children didn't view me as black. Even some of those other kids made fun of me because why are you saying you're black when you're white? It wasn't until I reached about junior high and then I realized I'm white. That is what I am. Yes, I know I was raised black and was told I was black, but I am white. What black person has blonde hair, blue eyes, and fair complected and can hardly tan besides burning? I'm white. 
You don't have to look black I to be black. I know she don't look black, but she has got black in her. She's right. She's got a lot of different kind in her. But I am her mother. I stand on the black. She did not stand. Only for so long of a time she stood as for black. When she got into school, into Waverly School, she let the people in Waverly change her thinking, her feeling. I didn't. I still stood for what I was, what my mother told me I was. I didn't care what I had to go through. I still stood for it. When I finally made the decision to go as white, I did feel guilty about it. It did, in a way, break my heart. It's nothing against my family. And it doesn't mean that I don't like black people or love black people or care for black people. I do. And like I told her, I can't be racist, and I know that. And I would never want to be, even if, even if I chose to be. I couldn't. I don't want that for myself or for my children. You're never going to get to the top of that mountain, I'm telling you. The black blood in you is going to stay there. And whether you want to accept it or not, there is going to be people to pick it out of you, whether you mention East Jackson or not. I went to a doctor in Waverly a couple good years back, and on that application, it asked my race, and I put black. The woman come out and said to me, how can you be black? And I kind of stared at her because she throwed me off. She said, I have never seen a black person, fair complected, blue eyes, freckles, and red hair. I said, well, surprise, you see her now. And she wanted to change my race. She was aiming on marking out the black and putting white. And I told her, don't you do that. I know what I go by. I know what I am. You leave it there. I will never, ever deny my race for what my mother had brought me up and raised me and had put me as. I will always be that until the day I leave this earth. Like seriously, Louise, this is actually a tough one. So this money question is actually of a belief that she is a black person because of the way her mom raised her. Maybe apparently the mom was actually a mixed race with a black DNA and all of that and she raised her in a black way and because of that she decided that okay I am a you know, black woman and she gave birth to her own baby decided to do the same thing her mom actually did to her to have baby but this one she do not want to accept the fact that she is a dark person she claimed that she is a white person and that is it and that is how the society sees her and that is how she wants to start seeing herself without even listening to what her mom had to say about it and i will not even blame her because definitely she looks so you know right even the mom looks so white the daughter looks so right but from the upbringing maybe the way they must have brought this woman up she has believed and been raised like a black person but but this is just so complicated. She is looking actually, you know, pure cookie, like pure white. And um, maybe because her own DNA is maybe greater than that of, um, you know, her mom, she possesses that, um, you know, white characteristics more. And even giving birth to kids, she also, you know, have those DNA and her kids turns out to be white she don't know that she couldn't you know she can actually put up with this trying to you know make her kids believe that they are white they might have a black DNA in them because of maybe their generation but anyways this is just <laughs> it's because when i saw this video i was like are you kidding me right now is it that white was the photo of the black these days is it that everybody is just trying to like you know what with her beliefs and her explanations on how she actually know it and how she actually believe in it with the way she was raised up by her mom who perhaps happens to be someone of a mixed you know race you know 
I think that she have a black DNA in her and that of her own daughter. But the thing is that she, I think she actually got married to a white man who also, you know, but she's, she, she, I don't know, if you want to be black so much, then you decided to also get married to a white person. And you want to bring up your kids you know in a black manner because you have a little bit of dna of a a black like this is all just confusing i don't even know the race she is right now but i think she's black but her kids also possess a little percentage of black so it's just her belief we should just i said what she claimed to be but in the men looking she looks so white, but there are a lot of mixed race out there that actually look so white, but they are black. So I think this is just um, the, what I call it, the identity crisis that most, you know, racial or most interracial couple face with their kids. And most biracial kids actually face this, um, this, identical or crisis and all of that or racial crisis because you don't know whom you are if you go to the you know white community you've been you, you've been seen as if you are a black person then when you go to a, a white community you are seen like like seriously it's just an identity crisis this is just an identity crisis. I want to blame a lot of mixed race children face this today. But the thing is that, the thing is that, no matter how white chocolate is, if you should put a little bit of dark chocolate, the, the color will actually change. So, in the sense that, I believe that this woman is actually black because. Black is a dominant color. It's dominant, like, no matter how white you are, if you have a little mix in you, the, the black will just dominate you. But the issue of the daughter, I think she have, like, the generation have already shifted. I think she have had that, you know, I think the white aspect of her own life is higher compared to that of the black one. So I think this is why they're having this crisis. The daughter is believing to be, you know, black, white, the mom. Oh my God, because my mom have raised me to believe this way. I'm going to raise you to believe this way. And <laughs> it just bit up to one thing. They are just having a, an identity crisis. But I think that if she believes she's black, if she believes she's white, it is not like for them. Anyways, like, what do you think of this video, you know? Give me your own thoughts of what you think. Subscribe to this channel if you're here to do that. Like, leave your thoughts. And do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying, harassment, or so if we just here for education. So please share this video. Subscribe to this channel if you're here to do that. And I will see you on this website. Just give me your own thoughts in the comment section of what you think of this video. And please do not forget that we do not support any form of bullying, harassment. Please share this video. Subscribe to my channel if you're here to do that, you know. Like this video and leave in your own thought in the comment section and I will see you lovelies when I upload the next one.